Friday subscription spot, we are having a look at the Brick Loot subscription box for the month of June. The link down below if you would like to subscribe to Brick Loot and have brick building goodies delivered to your door every single month. Above and beyond subscribing to Brick Loot, you can also follow Brick Loot at Brick Loot on Twitter and hashtag as well on, at Brick Loot. Um, a nice sized box, monthly box filled with loot for the ultimate brick fan, ages 6 to 99. You're 100, I suppose they would not say, no, you cannot subscribe, but 6 to 99 nonetheless. And then on the other side, enter to win the Mega Brick by doing an unboxing video. Email your YouTube video uh, link to win at brickloot.com. So, without further ado, Let's reach off camera here and grab Hank, my knife. Let's cut the seal on the front and find out what we got this month from Brick Loot. Open the box just like that. We got, of course, some tissue paper that's greeting us. First things first, Nerdosaurus Rex, <laughs> designed by Tommy Williamson. Brick Nerd, www.bricknerd.com. That's neat. You know what? We got time. Let's put let's put this together. I don't do nearly enough building things. Well, you know, when we open these things up, sometimes, depending on uh, how extensive the build is, we may not actually have a lot of time to build it. But let's see what we can do here. Got the pieces. That doesn't look like there's a lot of pieces to be built. Dump out the contents like that. Sometimes they can be misleading. Granted. And let's see if we can quickly put this together. The Nerdosaurus. I take a piece like this, and oh, it helps actually if I start with the right piece. And we need the end. Where is the end piece? We need one that looks like a ball joint. Anybody? Anybody want to help me on this one? There we go. Then we're going to take the four-piece brick. Helps if I also do it on camera where you guys can see what I'm doing. And we have a piece that looks like this. So far, so good. And we're going to take a couple of these pieces. And we need another one of those. And I feel like I've done something already. No, well, maybe I haven't. No, no, I, I'm still, I'm still okay. I'm still okay. These pieces go in the front. And this piece goes in the front like that. I think we're good so far. What say you? So far, so good. We're going to take another one of these pieces. Put this piece here. And I'm going to pick, take the black piece, put that right there. And it looks like we have a little small piece, a little small brick piece that goes on the back. It seems to me, and I'm just guessing, but it seems to me like we're putting together a head. Despite what your friends, family might tell you, this is how you get ahead. At least building a dinosaur head. And what do we got? Okay, so far so good. I, I'm noticing some googly eyes. I'm trying not to rush into that immediately. I, I Part of me just wants to jump, jump right into using the googly eyes, but I'm going to try to refrain because I know it's not the next step. I know a lot of times you get a little tempted. You're like, ah. Just want to skip to the next step. You can't though. You can't. You gotta be patient. Patience. Ha There's something about patience has its own reward. Something along those lines. I vouch for that. I'm. I'm also willing to say that as well. Maybe not as well eloquently put, but patience. Patience will pay off, my friend. So what ends up happening, let me give you a little piece of advice from one old guy. Sometimes you can rush through doing things and then later on, later on in life, you think to yourself, you're a little bit older, man, I should have been a little more patient. Should have just stopped, smelled the coffee, the java, soda, whatever it is. It doesn't, not, doesn't have to specifically be wake up and smell the java, but I mean, it could be, uh, you know, Wake up and smell, wake up and smell the roses. Does that make sense? I don't really know where I'm going with this. 
Um, speaking of not really knowing where I'm going with this, this piece has stumped me. I think it goes to the back like this. And it looks like this piece is supposed to go like this. I'm sure there's like an inverted version of that that I'm just not seeing. Hmm. Patience, Spot, patience. I know, I know. Well, it says you only need one of them. But which one? I don't know what's going on. I really don't. I am I am really actually stumped. It looks like it should be this piece, but this piece shouldn't connect to the bottom because it doesn't actually touch anything. I'm going to actually just leave that piece off for a second. I know. Patience, right? Patience. Patience kind of just went out the door right there. This piece goes like this. Hmm. I do feel a little bit on the stumped side. There we go. I think that's right. Nerdosaurus, you are stumping spot here. Okay, so we got the glasses. We got the uh, eye, googly eyes there. And then we've got these pieces. Uh, I think they're just the flat pieces. Flat pieces? Oh, excuse me. We have to put these pieces on first. The glasses don't feel the most secure. Like that. Like that. And we have to repeat the same steps, but on the other side. The other side. Where's that other? We need another one of those black bricks. Just kind of doing the feelsies test. Oh, there it is. There it is. Almost eluded me for a second. Almost, being the operative word, almost eluded me. The thing is, though, these pieces don't stay on very well. And then we got to put this piece on just like that. I think that's it. There we go. All right, so we got the head. I still don't know what's going on here. Because, I mean, I'm looking at the instructions. That green piece has to go underneath. How it does that, I don't know. Oh, I think I do know. Maybe? You know what it is? I missed I, ugh, I missed a piece. I missed some pieces. Sorry, guys. Remember I was saying patience? Patience and paying attention. Two things that you need to learn in life. This guy is bad for it. I think this piece goes like this. Um, this piece goes like this, I think. Oh, okay. See? Eh, Spot's using his brain. Well, actually, no. I was using the directions, which is really what I should have been using the first time around. Now, where'd that other piece go? That foreign green piece. There it is, right there. And it goes... Oh, this flips. There we go. This flips this way. Like that. And this is like this. There we go. And that allows me to open the mouth. Oh, that's clever. Well done. Well done. Even if I didn't quite follow the directions immediately. This is what we've got so far. You see? It does kind of look like a dragon, doesn't it? And then we got to flip over and put that to the side. And then we're going to take two brick pieces. Going to connect them with the green piece like that. Add that like there. And we got to take a couple of gray pieces. It's warm in here because I've got lamps on either side of me. They're cooking me like a like a turkey. It's the price you gotta pay when you're building Lego. Sometimes you just have to, there's no easy way out. There's no shortcut home. Don't believe me, ask Rocky, he'd tell you. Okay, so then we have to take 
Um, okay, we're going to take... We need two kind of flat pieces, except for the one hole at the top. We need two of those. Two. One and two. Those connect to the top. Connect to the top. And we've got something. Not sure yet what, but we've got something. And... Just look here. Hmm. I did actually leave, see? Left off a step. Spot's doing it again. Left off a spot. There we go. That goes like this. Is that right? I think it goes like that. Okay, that's what it was. I was being dumb. Black piece goes in the front like that. Then I had to put these pieces on. Right now, for whoever was saying, boy, you know, I wish Spot would actually just build things. Right now, they're probably thinking to themselves, ah, oh, I wish Spot never built this. Oh, man. I thought this was only going to be like a five-minute video. Girlfriend's on the phone, or my friends are at the door. They're kind of waving me down. They're giving me that come on, are we going to go gesture. I'm pointing at my watch like this. Which is basically, you know exactly what that is. That's you stalling. You know it's going to take a little bit longer, but you're kind of like, oh, just a few more minutes, man. No, I know, I know. No, just a few more minutes. Or it's going to, it's going to be done soon. That's what I used to say. It's going to be done soon. Come on, man, you coming? Don't worry, man. It's going to be done soon. What does that mean? I don't really know. I don't really know. What I do know, though, it's going to be done soon be done soon. The smooth piece goes like this. Just think we haven't even looked at the other pieces in this brick loot box. There's a whole buffet of brick awesome items in there. I haven't even looked at it yet because I decided to build this for you. For all of us. Light our darkest hour. Wait, oh wait, that's Transformers. Put this piece together like that. This goes like this. Now I'm zipping through it, you see? That's one. Oh, I guess we have to do repeat. Repeat steps like that. Another piece like this. I think these are going to be his feet. That's my guess. His feet. And I think that's it. Where's the rest of the instructions? Oh, I guess there's no rest of instructions. Now we just take the piece, the feet, snap those into place, snap that into place. And he's got some feet. I guess these are his hands. A little small, but these are his hands. And I think that's it. Of course, the only thing we need to then add is the head. Bada bing, bada boom, you've got yourself nerd a source Rex. Opens his mouth, as you can see, as I finally figured that out. His head moves, nice ball joint in the head. Legs move, tail moves. nerd a source Rex. I feel like he needs like a hat. Anyways, we're just gonna put him to the side. Now that we've finished building this 13, 14 minutes in, we also got the nano block micro-sized building blocks. Now this is going to be much more extensive. 240 pieces. Maybe we'll just actually put that to the side. We'll just build that. We've committed a lot of time here. We've also got the dinosaur uh, park, which it looks like you can build. Oh, well, no, it says triceratops, but that's not really a triceratops. Triceratops tend to have two horns at the top. That's like a Styracosaurus. That's not probably its the correct name. A little triceratops building set www.wangtoys.com. I'm going to put that to the side as well. What else do we have in here? We've got another set. This looks like... I want to think... No, it's just a parrot. I kind of got excited when I saw these minifigures on the side, but I think it's just a parrot. You can also build a frog, a chicken, a penguin, a dog, and a goldfish. I like that they're in surprise egg. Well, they're not really surprises because you kind of know exactly what they are and you see on the front what they're going to be. 
I do like they're in I do like that they're in egg form. Oh, we also got sick bricks. Remember these? Love sick bricks. This one is like the Batman <clears throat> Batman type character and also looks like uh, an Aquaman type character. Sick bricks. We've certainly had a look at sick bricks before. Brickosaurus Park. <laughs> nice. Little sticker there. Brickosaurus Rex. Brickosaurus Park. Uh, we've got, what is this? PK Studs. Brick Loot is a company subscription company designed and curated for Lego enthusiasts. Each subscriber receives a monthly box filled with unique, custom, and never before seen products that are compatible with or complement Lego bricks and minifigures. I feel like there should be a mini. Is there a minifigure? Oh, there's no minifigure in this one. I know last time we got a minifigure, but I guess because we got Nerdosaurus Rex, that, that kind of made up for it. So, what's inside Brick Loot's 2015 June box? Of course, we have Nerdosaurus Rex, which we built together. We've got Nano Block. We got Hatching Animals, which I'm going to actually still build. I just won't do it right now. And we have Sick Bricks and a limited edition Brick Loot Studs card. Here's a limited edition Studs trading card featuring Brick Loot. One in ten lucky subscribers will get a signed card by CEO Parker. <gasps> Did I actually get? I did. I got a signature. Look at that. Oh. Ah. It says one in 10. One in 10 lucky subscribers. And that was me. I was one in 10. If you guys would like to have all of this delivered to your house every single month, you can subscribe to Brick Loot. Today's subscription spot, we're having a look at Brick Loot's June subscription box. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. I'll see you next time.